What up? I hope you guys are doing well. Sorry I've been slacking a little bit. It's been a pretty shitty past two weeks. Not shitty, but I've been feeling kind of sick. Weather is shit. Been busy as fuck. Been very uninspired in terms of creativity. My creative outlet was going towards this brand that I'm starting with. Uh, one of my good friends, Ringo, I'm, I'm sure you guys know already from from my previous video. We're starting this brand called Vuja Day, which, you know, if you guys don't know what Vuja Day is, it's just a reverse way of saying deja vu. And so deja vu, it means something that you've already seen, but you actually haven't. Or it's just the mind playing tricks on your brain and just saying that you've seen this already. But Vuja Day is the opposite of that. You're taking something that you've already seen and flipping the perspective on it. Pretty much coming up with new solutions to solve old problems. And that's essentially the ethos of our brand as well as, you know, some concepts of Wabi Sabi, Mono no Aware, Iki, and pursuing this Japanese way of living and doing things has always been, I guess, a passion of ours, if that makes sense. Uh, we've always looked up to how Japanese people take care of just things in general, which is why our tagline is called Pathos of Things, which means whether the value is high, whether the value is low, you're just being conscious of the things around you and taking great appreciation for that. Um, and that's essentially what we're gonna be infusing to our brand. So stay tuned on our Instagram, Vuja Day Studio. More details will be announced soon. But before I start with this video, I just wanted to say thank you uh, for 15,000 subscribers. I am truly grateful, and I would honestly not be here if it weren't for you guys. So, arigato, and please continue to support my channel as I will be posting more videos on a weekly basis. I'll be dropping a vlog very soon in a couple of days, as well as a set of vlogs with Riley in the next month. So. Let's uh, see what I've been picking up for the past month. We're gonna get started with this pair of Levi's 80s red line stitch 501s with a slight personalization on it. It's basically a pair of vintage Levi's washed denim. It was supposed to be a very tailored and tapered fit but uh, I kind of customize it to my liking where I would flare the bottoms a little bit so it kind of sits over my sneakers a little better as well as I have some uh, distressing on it which I've done myself so you know just playing around here and there but it fits great uh, I'm sure I'll show you guys how it fits sooner or later but uh, yeah that's the first pickup which I picked up for a hundred bucks maybe less so very affordable, very cheap. You can always find steals. That's one. Um, another pair of denim that I've picked up are uh, these simple vintage, these Levi's black 501s. Again, I only paid maybe $50 for this. Just a very straight fit, a little bit baggier in my liking. The wash is great. The quality is great, it's vintage, so you're automatically a fashion god. The details, the wash, pretty cool. 50 bucks, pretty good price. Next up, I have these Stone Island swim trunks for my trip in the next month, so stay tuned for that as well. But I didn't have any swim trunks with me and I had to buy a new one. I walked into the Stone Island store in Harajuku or Aoyama was it? I walked in and I just saw this like lilac, lavenderish color swim trunks. It has a metallic detailing on it, so in the sunlight it will reflect, I guess, some sheen in different angles, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I went with a size large and I'm true to size 32. Uh, it fits really well. I don't want it to be too tight as, you know, I don't want my balls to shrivel up like a dried prude. I'm with a slightly bigger size, but that doesn't matter because it has drawstrings. Obviously this inner lining, which is fucking uncomfortable, but whatever. Uh, it fits really well, it goes right above my knees. And yeah, I think they were having like a flash sale or something. So I picked this up for like maybe 125 bucks. Pretty affordable. I'm sure there is someone stock online I believe it's called Stone Island Metallic Nylon Shorts. 
So yeah, not really big into shorts or colors. So uh, I went with this pastel-y color for the summer vibes. You dig? Number four, I picked up these... Why is the light on? Number four, I picked up these acne shorts in four screen colorway. It's a cargo. I don't know if you can see, but... Pretty cool. Uh, it's in four screen colorway. I don't know what it's called, but... I just picked it up online and it fits great. It goes right below my knees. It's a little bit more of a different fit than the Stone Island shorts I have. But more of a skater, artist, painter, streetwear kind of vibe. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I think it's a new model actually. Const thing on it, so... 100 bucks. Next up I have this Raph Simmons knit sweater. Very fucking oversized, so I don't even know why I, if you have a small frame, I don't even recommend you guys buying this because it fits so goddamn big. This is the smallest size. I think it's an extra small and it still fits fucking massive on me. I think the pit is like 30 inches in itself and then the body length is like 24 or 23 inches. It has that mocha brown color to it as well as that matcha green. So if you're going out for a coffee or matcha date, Finally, for my last pickup, I bought the ultimate dad shoe. The New Balance 9, sorry, fuck, what was it called? The New Balance 990 V3 with the Jam collaboration. So if you know, you know. Uh, yeah, it's a, honestly, it's a fucking comfortable shoe. I'm not even gonna lie. All hype aside, fucking comfortable shoe and very soft around your feet even throughout the whole day of walking. I gotta even say, man, these might be even more comfortable than the Ultra Boosts. For some reason, like, Ultra Boosts, it feels amazing on your feet for like maybe first two or three weeks or so, and then the boost starts to feel a little bit too comfortable that it's almost uncomfortable, if that makes sense. A little paradox there, but uh, very sick sneaker, definitely a summer, a fall, all year round essential in my wardrobe, so that was the last pickup. Sorry this video is a little bit short-lived. I know it's probably gonna be like 10-12 minutes long and usually my vlogs are double that, but I promise in a couple of days I'll be posting some fire content as well as around July 7th I'll be headed over to Essentially my third home and a tropical island if I say so myself, so I'm very excited for that. I'm gonna be vlogging a lot with Riley, so if you guys want to follow Michelle's public account, it's called M Richardson with another N and two underscores. I'll leave it in the description down below. She literally just started this account to expose and roast me, so if you guys want to see a lot more of a comedic content. I guess she's a better person to follow, but stay tuned for more updates and Vuja Day. Yeah, let me know what you guys wanna see next, whether it's a Q&A, a vlog, or whatever it may be. I will provide as long as I have time, but that's an excuse, so I'll provide. And also, since I've been getting a slew of requests on my workout routine, I'll be releasing that very shortly as well. Um, but yeah, that'll be the end of the video. Thank you again for 15K subscribers. Thank you. Arigato. Mada yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Bye. Woo! Are you vlogging today? <laughs> Just for a short bit, oh, you know? Okay. A little snippet. This guy's birthday was two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks. Just turned 20. And he's ready to take over the world, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, machi. How are you videoing? Yeah, dude. What up? What up, what up? What's your name? Khan. Khan. Bro. Oh. Japanese brand, right? Yeah. It's the sandals? It's local. Oh, it's Rick. That's Rick. Mm. But you Rick. know what I like the most out of your fit? What? It's your watch. Uh, Whose like, style do you resonate? Or like, who do you fuck with? I, I, okay. So, I, I respect Frankie. Frank Ocean. Bro. What? Frank Ocean, dude. He's my favorite artist of all time. Me. Green is a lean back. Bro. Green is a lean back. The tote? Yeah. Bro. <laughs>
Bro. You know how um, a lot of... June? Not June, but like, you know how anime graphics? Mm -hmm. A lot of like rappers and like the mainstream culture is kind of infusing anime yeah. into like fashion yeah. and just like, just cultural basis. What do you think of that? So like, I don't know if you're a big anime fan, but... Well, it started quite a bit. I think the first brand that did lots of this was Flag Stuff. Mm. It's a Japanese brand. Did it quite a bit. They were putting lots of sort of this sort of neon Evangelion sort of prints in. Yeah. And that sort of picked up when it got picked up by Mr. Porter. So in London, it grew really big because of Mr. Porter. And then after that, so you've got everyone following it. Like like this collection, I think it's, it's the new Warriors one, isn't it? It's undercover. I brand. honestly don't even fucking know. I mean, I, I kind of get the point. Like you how it, they're trying understand. to like yeah. push it out to culture. Yeah, but it's trendy. It is trendy. Yeah. Like I feel like it's just like a small, short-term movement. And, and that's not Ken Way, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not my way, fam. Dude, everything is on like sale. 30, 40 percent sale. So the Japanese brands go to 50. These what? All, these all the European brands. Uh -huh. So JW, Andy, um, Alix. Rick. Oh, this Alix contrast stitch. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so Rick's behind you. I like Rick. I just think some of his pieces kind of outlandish, like this one. Yeah. Like, I can never, ever wear that. I have these trousers from Rick. Super soft. It's made out of, like, a... Uh, what? Is it on sale? Yeah, all this study. What? I was going to buy, like... Oh, shit, it's, like, half price. Really? Is it half? It's, like, meet you, man, and it's half. You're getting a hard on now, eh, mate? <laughs> hey, lad. <laughs> Let me introduce you to these joints. These are casual Japanese pants. Looks pretty... Yoji, but the best thing is you sort of build it yourself, so it's very on plus, very on plus sort of like aesthetic. You have to figure out how to build oh, it because this is how it starts. This is how it starts. And you get two little buttons, and so you figure it out from there. That's so pretty this is, fire. This is exactly how uh, you start. Like a Batman. <laughs> so you decide. Wait, so you can like decide how to like tie it up yeah. and everything. So so like when they showed it to me, this is how it looked like. When I went to the store. And he showed this to me. They you can do it like, like this, a, like a, like kind of like, like a, an a apron. Apron. So this is very sort of, I guess, Paris Fashion Week sort of thing. Gold yeah. Skirts. Nice. So this is how they showed it to me. Oh. And I was like, that's actually fire. Yeah, it's pretty alright. But you can take this, you pop it here. You get like a little is, flare. This is great, great. So this is great, great. Oh, you know, this guy dabbles into fashion, eh? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Take these two, you pop them into the, themselves. Bro. You get this. So this is... Let me think, who can I think of? I guess it's close to Yoji. It's close to the Yoji. You take the bottoms, pull them up, and you get the bit of... Cup. Bro, what's going on? You can take, you can fold it at the back. What is going very, on? You get the Bushido vibes. This engineer is getting the engineered pants. Yeah, man. How much was it? How much was it? Yes. 500. Lower? Three? Two. Fifteen. Two fifteen? No, fifteen. Ichiman go sen? Ichiman go sen? Hundred fifty? Yeah, hundred fifty. Bro. On sale. Two. No. Full price. They're on sale now. So they, I think they went down. Wow. Wow. You good to go. <laughs> my man, my man. My man, my man, my man's <laughs> uh, runway shows for uh, Paris Fashion Week. Yeah, yeah. Which one did you like the most? Rick? I mean, uh, I'm biased that way though. Like, Rick. Rick I, I, yeah. like, like, I, I'm the sort of guy that looks at LB, looks at Virgil, sees the kite now, like, with it, Rick did. Yeah. I Rick, mean, is, Rick as well. Rick was doing the tents. Bro, like, it's kind of impossible to be original at this point. Yeah. I think people give him flag because he's Virgil. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, it's just he gets the extra flag. He's, it's, she started off as a streetwear brand, yeah. and now he dove into like high, high fashion. Oh. That guy is, uh, he's making money, yeah. and no one, no one's complaining. The vest. What is this? It's, it's, so it's a, it's a vest. So, like, it's how, like, you know how the whole big men trend thing about getting backs and all. So, what some brands are doing is that they're sort of biting into vests. Because all mm. you gotta do is wear a vest and you got sort of eight pockets sorted. Mm. So who was the one that started it really early? I think it started with Chess Rig, the leaks. Chess Rig, so that was 2016, mm. 17 sort of thing. Then it went on to the most exciting ones, Junior. Junior sick, dude. You have the Chess CCP Rick. ones, right? Do you uh, still have them? Ah, the CCP ones. Yeah, I see. Red? I never wear it. Like, just leave Red, it in white. In the white one. Ah! It's like a horse leather? Yeah. Yes, it's all horse leather. Yeah. Handmade too, CCP, everything. Yeah. 
So that's a store in Daikanyama that stocks CCP. Yeah, it's called uh, Lift Etage. Yes. You've been, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Six store. They, they, the yes. owner is so nice. Yeah, sales started last week, so I was going there. I heard, like, there's this, like, meme where once you get into CCP, yeah. you're stuck there forever. Me, me, me. You're trapped. Everyone flipped. They were like, CCP is mainstream. This doesn't work anymore. Yeah, like, like you, you wear what you wear. Yeah, you, you wear what it. you like, and that's the so most important part of it. Wear, but like, a, I'm afraid that once I get into CCP, you will never get out. I'll never get out. Yeah. And apparently, it's the case with everyone where they, once they buy CCP, they want more shit. And since everything goes well together with CCP's clothes, object dying. Exactly. Object dying. Yeah. Yeah. What, so, what do you think about CK? Raf Simmons. Final collection. It's literally the last bit of Raf left in CK. So. I went on Farfetch a few days ago and I've got the. Oh, they don't have it here, but you know the fire. This is fire. Ones. This I is like so I like fire. I like it. Ah, mate. It usually is. Right? Raf is usually one size, right? Yeah, but CK might not be. CK probably not, because CK drops. What do you think? Cool. It fit. Oh, I thought you were your cameraman. <laughs> your cameraman's here. Oh. Right, sir. The glass, the mirror. Pretty fire though, right? Mm -hmm. How much is it? 77. 77. 70. What is the uh, original price? Uh, 115. Oh, 115. So like 30. So 30. It's like 30% 30 off. Yeah, 30. Actually, it's cool. Yeah. Is it, it's CK, right? Yeah, CK. You can get it much bigger discounts online, far fetch. Really? No shit. The thing about Raph Simmons that I hate is that... The cuff. Yeah, the cuff. Color. I mean, it's sick, and he everything he makes is fucking oversized. Mm. It's massive. They don't... They look really nice when you got the strings coming out. You know the, the collection with the strings? Yeah. yeah. So the ones with the strings dripping out, that looks really well, nice. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. My family. I honestly don't know how it exists. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bieber. <laughs> Bieber doesn't even wear that much Amiri though. Yeah, not, not anymore, but like... But like rappers. Yeah, rappers. Rappers were the shit. And then it so, went to rappers, and that's how it sticks. Because like, you, um, Rodeo, this is it. This is Ro Rodeo pit. Beverly Hills vibe. Yeah. You the high beast. Like, it, it's the people that sold... Like this, like Nav would wear it. <laughs> Who? Nav. Nav? Nav. Nav would wear it, for sure. Nav? Like you, you'd see like Nav or ah. Future. Or I think, that, frankly speaking, I think that's why ASAP gets that much like respect. Oh yeah, because he has his own ch yeah, like his own, own vibe. Sort of thing. Like even Travis, no. Mm. He calls his clothes pieces, not clothing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> why have I not heard of this brand before, ever? Why have you not heard of this brand? You need to check out Essence more, man. Really? It's yeah. on Essence? Yeah, it's on Essence. Oh, they stock this on Essence. I've never heard of it. The Om Place way. They don't have anything new. No, I told you. I came yesterday. They, they've got, they haven't got the stock yet. July first. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, so it's re re edition. Yeah, it's yeah. the 2017 re edition. It's 50 percent off. What? Bruh, how much is it? It's eight eight fifty. Eight five. Oh shit! Right now is the best time to come to Tokyo, I guess, huh? I think I first saw it on like Lucas Sabat. Oh yeah. Yeah. I saw it on. It's a YouTuber, um, Basti Nico. Never heard of him. He's pretty sick. Yeah. Are you copying? <laughs> what up, mate? Why are you so unenergetic? Because I'm so sleepy. <laughs> From doing what? <laughs> Texting. <laughs> Texting who? <laughs> this guy is so whipped. <laughs> he called his girl for three hours last night. <laughs> Mackie in his honeymoon stage. Uh, enjoy a while it lasts. I'm sorry for discouraging you. <laughs> so Dover Shoot has a sale, 50% off. 30 to 15. 30 to 15. Okay. Yeah, depending on the sticker. Is your favorite designer Kiko? For now, yeah. For now, yeah. And you, Yoji? Yoji. Yeah. Yoji? I'll stick with Yoji, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Mine's Jerry Lorenzo, so. So I think this is the LV pop up. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, so. Dude, the colorway. Yeah, the black and white. Do they have a low? No. I think those are the mids, right? Yeah, they're the mids. They're not the highs because I know the highs have like straps. Honestly though, I like the lows a lot better. I get, yeah. I get a low of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, have you tried them on? Yeah. I, I, it's I, hella comfortable. Yeah. I tried it in mid-scotch. Man. 
mate. What is that? It looks kind of cheap though, right? With this, the, with the color, yeah. Yeah, right? Pride, maybe? Oh, he's copping. He's copping. Hey. Copy. He's copping. He's eyeing it. He's eyeing it hard though. Probably 10 times. Sick. Virgo vibes. So 50% off? These are Birkenstocks. No way. That's insane. Wow. You wanted the sweet? Bro, I didn't know they made these. It's a collab. I have the Birkenstock sandals. The fur ones? The fur. Yeah, yeah. black ones, right? Yeah, black, black ones. Black and silver. It's fire. Yeah. It's so comfortable, dude. I would wear this. This one, he's bought this, right? Is it this one? This is on sale. Oh, this, yeah. This is, this is people. This was like... So this is like the one of the sort of like flagship pieces. He goes not on sale. Mac, he's so sad. What would you have copped if it was on sale? This one. The jacket? Yeah. That turns into a hood, right? Yeah. No, yeah. no, oh, this one, the one that cuts into the hood. Not really. Not really. Maybe, maybe this one, maybe. Better. Yeah. I like the yellow accent. The summer sale in Japan starts around 20... 28th. 8th of yeah. June. And every item, literally anywhere you go, all the stores will have a big sale. A big fucking sale. 20, 30, 40, 50% sale. And even the Penthes, we're pulling up to Needles right now and it's having a spring summer sale. So, uh, there we go. Hope you find something, bro. Yeah, the they still have like one. I'm surprised they actually have one left. Small, I think, or medium. Yeah, it's a medium. That's all right. How much is it? 26. You don't want any of these, right? No, not really. Well, like the paisley ones? Yeah, yeah, so this Like these thing. patterns? I, I have this. Oh, you do? Yeah, this exact one. It's they still have the track jackets here, this sitting is, here. These are cargoes, my dear. Here. The wider cuts are actually really cool. But again, I would never buy it. Nice, dude. I love the flare. It's flared, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's fire. It's flare. Yeah. It sits well with the sandals, actually. Yeah. Hmm. Copping? Copping. Copping. Well, how much is it from sale? 16. 16, okay. 150 bucks. Yeah, 150. From 300 bucks, I'm yeah, guessing. From yeah. Half right off. So 50% off in needles. Check it out. How are we doing? What's up? All right, so a lot of people ask me how to pick out the right pair of denim. Yeah, I'm what do you tell them? you exactly how to do that. We're at Beauty and Youth, and they pretty much have the best curation for denim, but. One thing that you should look for is definitely the wash and wash. the feel of it because if it's too thin, it doesn't feel like denim but if it's too stiff, it's going to be uncomfortable um, Let's say for this example feel What's it. this? Soft, worn in 501s? 501s Solid. is the way to go Yeah And in terms of fit wise it has to be somewhat slim and somewhat tapered but not too slim, if you know what I mean what you going for? 9 bucks. K. 9 bucks, yeah, sure. 90 bucks, yeah. So, pretty affordable. You don't have to pay but look, over pay for denim. Yeah. Like this, for example. Oh, it's got a nice stain. Yeah, it's got the stain, some characteristics. Got a bit of a Castlevania blood yeah. vibes. You definitely want to look for um, 80s, 90s Levi's 501s. What's the difference? Why, why 80s, why 90s? Uh, because the quality is a little bit like sturdier. As well as the stitching in itself is a lot more rugged, so when you wear it down, it doesn't break apart. As well as they wash a little bit nicer, so they... So what do you have on? These are 80s 501s. Um, I actually bought them here for 100 bucks, so... So ladies and gentlemen, he walks the top. Hey. So, uh, every pair has its own story, so... One big important tip when you're buying denim from Levi's Vintage is you want to size one up because they fit slightly smaller. So yeah, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Typically I would buy something like this, just like a very plain pair of denim. Yeah. That you can, you can it customize up yourself. yourself, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you can DIY if that makes sense. Make your own stories, guys. Make your own stories. Don't wear someone else's story. Fuck yourself. <laughs> and uh, in terms of length, I like to go I'm 6'1", so I like to go like 32 or 34 length. So it kind of like drapes over your sneakers or your boots or whatever you're wearing. And typically I like to stretch the hems a little bit. So it flares out. So it sits on your sneakers a little bit nicer. Right. I think that's it. Okay. That's pretty good. Peace.